Hold on to your seats for this one because it's sure to stir the pot. Why Xbox getting Red Dead Redemption 2 in Game Pass is not a big deal on the offset, but what can be done to change that? Let's get into it. What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? Oh, yeah, I said it. It's not a big deal on the offset. And I know that's going to stir the pot and have some people pulling, yanking out their hair. You know what I'm saying? And, and jumping out the windows and setting themselves on fire. But we're here to have a discussion here at The Medicine. It's all about thoughtful discussion, so we'll break it and we'll parse it down. This is not a pom-pom parade. This is not a prep rally. This is all about thoughtful discussion and dissent and discord. And with that said, thank you for joining me for this episode <laughs> of this medicine. Of the medicine, it's your boy, MM2K. Do me a huge favor before we get too deep into this one. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know when your boy's dropping these doses. I appreciate all of y'all straight up, because y'all know the deal, y'all know the reason, and y'all know the slogan. I am not too proud to ask. Let's get into it. All right, so here's the issue. Here's the, the crux of the debate, right? Xbox, uh, not too long ago from this recording, announced that Red Dead Redemption 2 is coming to Game Pass. Okay. Now, those that have picked sides in the console war space may be staunch one way or another. To one group, it's, it's, it's insanely massive. To another group, it means absolutely nothing never will, right? But the truth of the matter as it comes to these things with the console warriors and the fanboys, right, is the truth itself always lies somewhere in the middle so basically let me say this no off the bat red dead redemption 2 and game pass is not a guaranteed game changer but if xbox plays its cards right it sure as hell could be all right so let's get on to the next section why at the offset is not red dead redemption 2 and game pass not an automatic big deal okay so for my Xbox brethren that I got to talk to like my sensitive child and anybody that's a parent, if you got multiple kids, you, everyone has one. That sensitive child that you got, you got to talk to like, just don't worry about it, baby. It's going to be okay. Look, I'm going to talk to y'all like, I'm not going to make the voice, but let, let, let me explain this to you. Let me break it down for you so hopefully you can get out of your silo and understand what I'm saying. Here's the most important thing to take away from this though. And from many of these discussions that we have here, and a lot of people try to have elsewhere as it relates to Xbox. The difference between the term big as it relates to the Xbox community and everyone else is simply this. The Xbox community thinks of the term big as a big potential to do something positive. Everyone else, uh, though, looks at big as an extreme likelihood to do something massive. That's the biggest difference. And I don't think that with those two realities, I don't think that the Xbox community realizes it. But this current, because this current regime got the Xbox community lowering the bar so low that the potential of a good outcome is considered big to them. But again, everyone else looks at big as an extreme likelihood to do something massive. Like, for instance, if we can go into recent history, Final Fantasy VII being exclusive to the PlayStation console. Everybody knew that Final Fantasy VII was going to be a big deal. I get it's coming to other places later, but the fact that when it was available day one, the remake that is, it being exclusive to PlayStation was a big deal in the in the way that the rest of the community, gaming community that is, thinks of the term big. We knew it was going to sell a lot. It was going to push units. And it pushed 3.5 million units in three days, despite current world events. That's considered big. Not the potential of something, but the overall likelihood that something's going to do something massive, all right? Now, here's the facts about Red Dead Redemption 2's current engagement and why I say it's not an automatic big deal, even though the title has a lot of glamour and glitz associated to the name. 
It's not a given fact that it'll push units in a major way, let alone Game Pass for these reasons. Now, before I get into those reasons, it's fair to say that it will inspire engagement with those who already have Game Pass. Hell, I'm even contemplating giving it a try on Xbox. But here's the thing. Red Dead 2's popularity has been declining. Let me show you guys something. It's Fire Marshal Bill. Let me show you something. Let me increase this too so y'all can see this. Hold on. Let me. Let's go over the NPDs for the last few months. All right. This is starting January 2020. Red Dead Redemption 2 is number 10. It's, it, it, it was at the bottom of the top 10, which still isn't bad for a game at its age, right? However, look at something else that is in. Um, NPD Grand Theft Auto 5 another Rockstar game that is way more popular at the moment okay that's pushing even more units Grand Theft Auto 5 is still here too and that's an old game it's even older right let's move to the next month the next month Grand Theft Auto 5 actually moves to 3 and guess what happens Red Dead Redemption 2 is now out of the top 10 and moves to 13 all right and for those of you that want to make you know that that's like oh mm2k you're up to some grimy stuff no this is february 2020 npd okay now let's move on to the most recent results which are march grand theft auto 5 again the more popular title dropped down to eight and red dead redemption moved up one to 12 however red dead redemption is not in the top 10 yet even though grand theft auto 5 is still there why is that important because we heard the same rhetoric grand theft auto 5 coming to game pass that's gonna be a game changer that's huge that's massive and it didn't push units <laughs> look when we say huge or massive, we are saying things that are going to have Xbox's mind share increase, not things that are huge and massive to the people that they already got. They could poop on a stick, caramelize it, and throw it out into the crowd, and y'all think it's good. They already got you. So when we think huge or massive in the rest of the gaming community, we're talking about stuff that grabs people that left, that helps bring them back. And the fact of the matter is, is that Grand Theft Auto 5 wasn't able to do that because in order for you to play it in Game Pass, you had to do what? Get an Xbox. You couldn't play it on PC. You had to what? Get an Xbox. How many MPDs did Xbox win since GTA 5 was in Game Pass? Nada! You know what I'm saying? Do we see any significant movement of Xboxes since it was in, in Game Pass? Nope. Nada! Right? All this stuff does again is it pushes game pass usage onto the people that already have it. It's not doing anything massive that spreads into mindshare. And when we talk about big in the gaming community, we're not talking about just simply appeasing the people that are never going to leave you. We're talking about your saturation into the mainstream and your mind share in gaming altogether. So understand Xbox community, why you're we, uh, you and the rest of us are talking past each other when what we consider to be big, okay? So I hope that illustrates that. And again, my point is, how is the lesser selling, less popular Rockstar game that's close to 18 months old going to do more favorably and listen to this just because it's there that's the argument here because i know how y'all in that community like to mix things up you're saying that it, it, it's definitely not going to be a success i'm not saying that i'm just saying that i am not on the bandwagon and the majority of us are not on the bandwagon with you guys about this because we have to see some type of empirical proof that it's going to move units and the, the more popular game didn't do that from Rockstar, okay? But that doesn't mean, again, that it's not going to. We don't know. Nobody has the crystal ball. We're not saying it's 110% it's not going to. It's just, the likelihood just isn't high as you, you guys are making it out to be. However, 
there is a way that that likelihood can be drastically increased where you can grant my share mind share by properly using the star power of rockstar and the rank name recognition of red dead redemption 2. how is that what can be done to make this a big deal to everyone because again this ain't r.i.p xbox as everybody well every time you say something negative it's r.i.p xbox shut up and, and stop being so damn sensitive listen if Xbox does the following, it will go a long way to make this a major deal. I think what Xbox needs to do is create bundles, okay? In these bundles of Xbox consoles, you need to include a Game Pass upgrade for anybody that buys it, whether they already have Game Pass or not, for a dollar for an additional six months, okay? Because that's the name of the game. You guys are trying to get saturation um, within gamers, within the gaming community for more people to have game pass so when the subscriptions do come at full price people will be like oh okay you know what it's not really a big deal i'll, I'll keep it and may, in order for you to have more success with that you got to go outside of the people that are going nowhere no matter what so they're a great start but you got to do better than that so again bundle this bundle the fact that you have this in game pass with bundled consoles and do another dollar extension for another six months and mark these bundled consoles down to these prices because you're discontinuing a lot of these older consoles anyway as far as production is concerned um the xbox one x should be 279 the s should be 179 and the sad should be 129 all right and advertise the hell out of the fact that red dead redemption 2 with over what 30 million sold is now on xbox game pass for a dollar and can you imagine the commercials black silhouette shadow rising with a little bit of uh, sunlight or whatever over each version of the console then you show then it goes over red dead a poster of red dead redemption 2 and one of the biggest selling games this generation and highly anticipated games this generation is now coming to xbox game pass get access to it for a dollar when you buy an xbox bundle console and show these prices to get the world currently the world's most powerful console the xbox one s or the xbox one sad at these discounted prices and game pass for a dollar which now includes red dead redemption okay so if they do that that then pushes it into the stratosphere of being something that's big <laughs> you know what i'm saying this is a big title because of what it's done in the past but when you look at what its pr production has been recently in comparison to something that's already been in game pass that's more popular you know it, there's got to be a little bit more effort for it to push push units which is definitely something big but again anything's possible we don't know this is just analysis but we got to have reasonable discord within the community without people whining and crying and throwing hissy fits all right period and that's it from your boy mm2k let me know what you think about what i had to say in the comment section below because like i always say who cares what i think but if you did like what i had to say check out the links below to follow me those links will lead you to the broadband bullies pnts network hard knock digital culture and yes the stadia dosage and with that being said you all have a wonderful wonderful gaming day and last but not least if you are interested in the stadia community and you want to see stadia games being played you want to see how well this this platform performs before you jump into the free trial we are doing something called stadia super saturday check it out online check it out on twitter look up stadia super saturday we're doing 20 straight hours of stadia content so everybody can see the marvels of that platform with that said have a wonderful gaming day peace